Right. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, you want to have a pop at someone? Have a pop at me. I ain't gonna fight with you, Phil. But I will play you a pool. If I win, you leave Wolford. And if I win, I stay. And you agree to end this feud. Pleasure doing business with you. This is a uh, minor thing. I wonder if you can't fair right. Yeah, I'm all for that. What you doing up here? I'm just being sociable, Phil. Yeah. We'll get back down them stairs. Tonight's about Ben, and we're celebrating. And no one's gonna get in the way of that. Nice kid. Not full of attitude like most of them. Yeah, well, that's the way I brought him up. Yeah, I bet he got a lot of attention. It's almost as if he's an only child. Sorry. Well, he must miss Louise. What do you know about Louise, eh? A bit. Well, she is more than likely. Listen, I don't know what game you think you're getting into it, but you do not involve my kids, all right? It's not a game. If you can see your way to a bit of give and take with me, I can help you find your daughter, Phil. It's your choice. We're closed. What are you about? You know, I've been thinking about what you said about Louise, and you know what I've decided. Look, I just wanted to have a chat with my business partner. But go on, enlighten me. You don't know where she is. You ain't got a clue. There she is. Hold on. I ain't finished yet. I wonder what's up with those two. Well, who cares? The thing that will get to me is my kids. Well, don't mention them at me again, all right? Mark Fowler. This is my little girl we're talking about, yeah? So if you're playing me... How many times have I got to tell you, Phil? All right. Well, then, please. I need your help. Tomorrow. I'll call. Hey, what's happening about Louise? I told you, it's going to take time. Well, you must have learned something by now. It's the Christmas holidays. What do you want me to do? I want you to tell me where my daughter is. I'm calling in some big favours here. You'll hear as soon as I do. Look, if somebody knows where my daughter is, then I want to know now. Yeah? You want your daughter back? If you know something. Then tell me. Yeah, I know something. You see, I know that you're involved in selling dodgy motors. See, I know all sorts of things. And like I said, when I find out about Louise, I'll let you know. I'm so sorted. You happy now? Oh, yeah, I'm ecstatic. 
You're getting off on this, ain't you? Oh, yeah, of course, because I've got nothing else going on in my life, have I? About you getting in my face. Well, you don't want me in your face. I've cleared the car lot, so give me some answers about my daughter, yeah? You don't know anything, do you? This is all just a wind-up. Lisa's back in the country. When I find out where she is, I'll let you know. Follow me. Hold on. Now, why'd you bring me in here? So you could buy me a drink. I'm in the middle of a funeral. I found the film. Found your daughter. Thanks for coming. This is better, isn't it? We can talk properly. Say what we got to say rather than what the people we care about want to hear. So that was a load of old crap you came out with last night? No, no, it was the truth. See, I want us to get on. I like Ronnie, so obviously it's in my interests. It's not in your interest, though, is it, Phil? You're thinking, why should I make the effort with a cocky git I don't even like? Yeah. Yeah, that about sums it up. Here's why. Just one car please, Phil, that's all I'm asking. Look at it. From now on, that place is legit. No more stolen cars, no more cutting shots. What do you want to do, get somebody else killed? Oh, all right, just give me the boat's number, I'm calling myself. Listen, as soon as you called him, he put the phone down. Now, it's too dangerous, the old wheel nearly got us last time. With all this new evidence, they still might. You're a stupid man, Phil. Picking fights with people you know nothing about, with no understanding how they're going to react. What well, you know now, don't you? That's nothing. It's enough. The amount of evidence the police already have, more than. You sold Kevin Wick's stolen cars. He later died in one. Oh, that's it. Go on. Keep thinking in your fists. Make it even easier for me, why don't you? Well, oh, don't worry. There's no one else here. I'm not recording it, neither. But you had your cheap sucker punch. You want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me now when my back isn't turned? Let's do it. See how long you last. What do you want? Well, for the tape? Nothing. I'm going to give you that back. But it's a warning, Phil. Take me seriously. You treat me with respect. Well, that's it? Yeah. That and the car lot. <laughs> to what? You're going to sell me the freehold of the car lot at half the market value. <laughs> yeah. As a way of apologising. Call it a gesture of friendship. No, let's not. Well, that's a shame for Ben. Because when I hand that tape over to the police, you ain't going to be seeing him for quite a while. Are you taking a long term view of all this? Yeah, more than you ever did. See, I make it my business to know exactly who I'm dealing with and what they're capable of. It's a shame you never did the same. Just be grateful. All I'm after is the car lot. You've got till 5 p.m. I don't own it. No, I know you don't. Peggy does, but that's not my problem. If I tell Ronnie about this, that's it between you and I, it's over, isn't it? When you tell Ronnie, that tape goes to the police. You threaten Darren, that tape goes to the police. So this is just between me and you. Clear the air, make things even between us. Because I was really trying to help you with Louise, Phil. So now you owe me something in return. So why don't you go and speak to your bent solicitor, Richie Scott. Try and save yourself while you still can. Are you sure you want to do this? I'm doing it. I realised you were 50, Phil. Neither did I. I'm not. Anyway, 47.50, don't bother me. You're not worried about getting old? No. Well, I would. You know, not being able to do what I used to. You know, getting tired, losing my edge. Losing my... I still feel 17 myself. Yeah, well, you can see that. You're full of youth. Well, you can come again. <laughs> Creep. <laughs> ben keeps me young, keeps me on my toes. Must be the same for you with your daughter. Oh, no, I forgot. You're not allowed to see her, are you? It must be obvious. Phil. How's the wine, Peggy? It's lovely. I think we ought to have some more. <laughs> oh, watch it. You're going to get me drunk. Uh, 
chance of that. I mean, you're going to handle your drink, aren't you? You all right? Yeah. Let's get some water. That was delicious, Peggy. So, did you really make this yourself? Yeah. All by himself. <laughs> oh, so oh, sorry, mate. Phil? Dad! Oh, no. What did you do that for? It was an accident. You're right, mate. I can't believe you just did that. Here, let me clean you up. It's only a bit of cream, isn't it? So, I thought we were mates. Yeah, we are. We're, uh, we're great mates. Well, aren't we? I thought we were. I thought that's why you sold me the car lot. What was that? Right, hasn't he told you? Yeah, he was desperate. So he sold it to me at a knockdown price. Is this true? Oh. Why didn't you tell me? I think we should leave. Yeah, thanks for dinner, Peggy. There's no one gonna eat my truffle. I spent hours making Don't it. Don't forget about the truffle now, okay? But there's no need to shout at him. I'll shout who I want, okay? Oh, Albert, no! Ben! I'll go. Where is she? Where's Ronnie? How would I know? I don't keep her. Well, what's happened here? Uh, big gust of wind. <laughs> well, listen, I need to speak to Ronnie. Well, maybe Ronnie don't want to speak to you. Just let me pass. Or what? Phil, you can hardly stand up straight, all right? It gives me an unfair advantage. But you're welcome to try. Ronnie's right. You ain't worth it. Yeah, well, do, don't it. miss me around, Phil, all right, because I found these. Now, where is she? Gone. Gone? Gone where? Airport. All right, which one? Which airport? She didn't say. Maybe she'll send you a postcard. Right. I don't... I mean, you can't leave without talking. I mean, we've got to talk about it. You've got to let me explain. All right? Look, I don't... Just, will you call me, Ron? All right, we'll, we'll meet up. Just let me know where you are or anything. No, I'm here. Just uh, a little detail, right? Just a little tiny detail. But Roxy is the mum of your kid, right? Roxy, I think you're chasing the wrong cousin, mate. Look, I just... I want her to be all right, Phil, so just tell me where she's gone. Rodney has gone. Away. <laughs> Don't you listen? Don't you play? Don't you think she might be trying to give you just a tiny little message? Because generally speaking, right? Generally, where I come from, if a bird jumps on the first plane that she can, she's trying to tell someone something or other. You know, Kathy. Which airport? New. New Kathy. Which airports? Oh, don't give me that. Oh, you ain't got a clue, have you? You can't remember. Look at you. One big blur, innit, Phil? Well, you know what? It's probably a good thing. Just don't look in the mirror, mate, all right? It's seriously pathetic. Oi! Go on, it. Say it. What is it with everyone? I'm even resorting to buying my own case. Stansted Airport. She has gone to Stansted Airport because I remember everything. So you better watch yourself, you streaky bit of flash. Happy birthday, Max. Yeah, understatement. You sure? Well, there's something, isn't it? Yeah, but it don't help me out with the big party that I got booked in tonight. Uh, 21st. Yeah. Daughter of an old mate of mine from the force. That's better luck. Yeah, well, I don't want to cancel her. You know what I mean? That's all I have to. So, I was thinking, is there any chance we could move it here? Yeah. I'd say, why not? All right, cheers. 500 quid, OK? That's a bit steep, isn't it? I mean, it ain't going to cost you anything. I'll bring the food, you'll have the bar. I mean, I'm not asking for any favours, I'm just you know, asking for your help as a fellow local businessman. 
500 quid. Yes, darling. I wouldn't charge you 500 to use R&R. &R. I wouldn't come and ask you if I could use the R&R. &R. Well, so that's your normal rate, is it? Someone comes in here and wants to book a wedding or whatever, you charge them 500 quid. Depends. On what? Who it is, the occasion. All right, one of the market traders comes in. All right, they want to wire it for a birthday, they'll bring the food. How much to charge them? Depends who it is. Stacy Slater. Well, she's in the bin, isn't she? Yeah, if she wasn't. I don't know, one or maybe. 100 quid. I mean, I let Winston have the gaff for uh, his 40th birthday for 50 quid, but then again, uh, <laughs> well, me and him, we go way back. All right, about my brother. He comes in here once a right for Tanya for her birthday. How much? Well, if it was Max, let's see, if it was Max, I'd, uh, I reckon I'd let him have it for free. Well, thanks for your generosity, Phil. So, you know, local businessmen, we should stick together. Is that right? Yeah, you know, you scratch my back. Oh, that old chestnut. So, I've been thinking about, you know, you having a Vic tonight. You can have it free of charge. Yeah, it's very generous. So, what have I got to give you in return? Nothing. OK. There, uh, there is just, just one small thing. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I understand you've offered my sister a job. Yeah, that's right. Well, she's not in a position to take it. Well, that's not what she said. Well, she's got a court case hanging over her. Yeah, she mentioned it. Besides, she'd be a liability. I mean, she, she can't let up, she can't concentrate. She'd be in the toilet all the time, freshen up her lipstick. Mm. She'd look good beyond my bar, wouldn't she? So can you tell her that the job's gone? Why would I do that? Well, for the same reason I'm offering you the Vic for your mate's party tonight, to help each other out. Oh, yeah, the party. Well, I found somewhere else for that now, so don't need the Vic anyway. Well, why didn't you say that earlier on? Must have slipped my mind. She can have the job as long as she wants it. Well, make you feel great, does it? Keeping a little girl away from her dad. Well, in your case, yeah. Yeah, well, you can't keep her away forever. That <laughs> right. Well, let's see what Roxy says when she finds out about Daddy's little drug deal. You know what? She ain't gonna say anything. Because you got it all wrong. Now, you tell Sam I've got a sexy little outfit for her to wear tomorrow night. Love my girls to look hot. You ain't welcome here. No, I just want a pint. One phone call, Jack. That's all it'll take to get you penned up. I'd be careful if I were you. Because it ain't just me you'd be taking it down. And what's that supposed to mean? Well, you said it. I ain't welcome here, am I? 500 quid back the Shirley paid you. You're blackmailing me. Plus interest. We thought I wouldn't work it out. Work my out. All them texts, the letters, the, all that grief you've been handing out. You've got the wrong person. Let's do this somewhere else. Well, I'm not budging if that's what you think. I want that memory stick with my confession on it. You want this longer? <laughs> yeah, well, I've been stupid thinking that. Now you hand it over and I'm out of here. It's all right, Jack. I'm here. In here. Things would be a lot different if Amy weren't through there. All right, this is the last time you sit foot in this house. You take this, you disappear, all right? Because I've got Amy, and that's all that matters. Ain't here, is it? Oh, don't try it on. Well, have a look for yourself. Someone's been here and they're taking it, haven't well, they? Who's been in here? I don't flame you, no. Half the square's been yeah, through well, this flat. I ain't flat. buying that, not one bit of it. Yeah, well, you should. If you knew what else I had on you. There was a file. I want a backup. In case you got too big for your boots. You got a file on me? Add a file, Phil. Ain't here, is it? Well, what was on it? Everything. You're cocking your leg out in the wrong tree. Well, how could that file just go missing, eh? The same way as the USB stick. All right, I'm not entirely thrilled that some freak's been going through my purse. So I don't know what your game is, all right, but you want to have a go. You, you go and do it now. Come on. It wasn't me. 
All right, the court gave me everything I could want for yesterday. Oh, no, 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 you're rubbing it in, ain't you? Well, Roxy's killing us. No, so. all I'm saying is Amy's my only priority. All right, and you're going to regret wasting your time on me, taking your mind off the ball when this real culprit strikes. So who's been in your flat lately? It was chaotic. All right, take your pick. Who? The night that Amy nearly drowned, the entire square went through my flat. All right, face it. Who haven't you made enemies with round here? But you pick on me again. I've still got a lot of mates in that nick. Marsden, even. All right, they'd be very interested in your murky past. Nice, isn't it? Yeah, that's one word for it. I can think of a few others, such as. Interesting. Yeah, unexpected. Bit of a surprise. Yeah, that's what I thought when I had the old bill knocking at my door. The way I heard it, they were kicking the door in, wasn't it? Uh, you get a lot of that, do you, inside information? Why do I get this funny feeling you're trying to say something? Isn't it? Just make a conversation. Scotch egg, sausage roll. Oh, don't mind if I do. <laughs> Go on, it won't shake you. So it's me who's been sending you all those letters. I'm the one who's responsible. No, 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 hold on. Got nothing to do with him. Ain't mine. Right. It was me. No, no, Jack. Falling on your sword for your brother, very noble. But I'd never forgive myself. Phil? I'm Spartacus. No, 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 come on. I'm No, 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 Phil, don't listen to him. I'm Spartacus. <laughs> uh, you're hysterical. <laughs> yeah, I saw a program about him once. He got crucified, didn't he? You all right, Jack? <laughs> Whoa, Jack, 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 Jack! Come on, let him get away with it. What did our teacher? Take your time and do it properly. Right? He ain't going nowhere. <laughs> My brother thinks I should, uh, go. Keep playing demolition, man. Yeah? Yeah, I had a word with a few of my old workmates and all. And we agreed. There's no point, because there's no evidence. Well, at least you learned something from the job, didn't you? Yeah, well, they're always on the other end of the phone. You know what us police are like? Once you're in, you're never out. Well, even when they're as bent as you. Yeah, and it's weird, really. The limbs still go to protect their own. And you're still claiming it weren't you to set up them rates, eh? Sound a little bit paranoid, yeah, Phil. We'll see someone about that. You'll never beat me. No one will. You really hate it when you can't control things, don't you? Sharon's all yours. Well, she always was. The engagement's off. Well, she worried social services might get a tip off. No. Because they've already been told. By me. You? Why? Because me and Sharon agree that some low life might grass us up. And I don't like people thinking they can have one over on me. Well, that makes a change you're doing the right thing. Yeah, well, I hope so. For your sake. Because if my granddaughter ends up in full-time care, I'm holding you personally responsible. Keep me away. I give you a free run at Sharon. You're getting paranoid. Yeah, well, you said you were going after her. Yeah, and I meant it. Yeah, and it ain't working. All right, I'm coming to the ceremony. <laughs> it's family only. Yeah, well, Sharon ain't your family. And you make a play on her, and I will tear you apart. Why are you worried she might take me up on it? Oi, the only reason I didn't knock you out yesterday is because of her. Are you listening to me? No, not really. Because you don't mess with this stuff. All right, you do not mess with James. Hey, what's all the shouting about? What's the matter, Where is everyone? I'll get you two a drink. 
I don't think that's a good idea. Well, you've won. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? So, let me get you a drink. Not now, please. So, all you've won is the embarrassment of when she comes back to me. Oh, is that right? Yeah. She always does. You'll see. Actually, you know what? Let me buy you a drink. Chose no other Boys! Boy! My niece was in bits this morning. Well, coming from your family, don't really narrow it down. Alice, she got caught in a minute mark using dodgy money. <laughs> she laughing at me. Your family. Oh, you started looking for a new bar manager yet? Yeah. Sure, Sharon will help you look at prospective candidates if you're nice. What are you on about? Come on, surely you didn't think a woman like Sharon would stay at a club like that for too long. She's got things she wants to do with her life. She's fine. Oh, yeah? And once she got herself an interview, then. Feel it all slipping away, Phil. Do you mind? I've got a baby yoga class to get to. Have you said anything to her? By her, are you talking about the ex-missus or the missus to be? If you think anything to Sharon, you'll keep that shut. Well, I love her. You love her? Is that what you said to Ronnie as well, isn't it? You love her. You feel all right? Sort him out, will you? I ain't gonna beg you. What's that all about? stuff over I would have. Uh Dennis's PA kit. But you're loving this, isn't you? Shall I cry on? You take advantage of her. And what? Just back off her. Oh yeah. Cause you really got the right to lay down the law after what you did. Didn't you? you got nothing. Hey, you don't even know her. Oh no. No no, because no one knows her like you do, do they? Not with your messed up secret past. You'll never have all me and Sharon have got. Well, she chose me, didn't she? Mm. <laughs> and you dumped her because of Ronnie. What is it with you, Jack, eh? Hey? What does Sharon ever mean to you? Hmm? Was it Jack the Lad, yeah? You gotta have every woman in the square. Well, you mess people's lives up, Jack. That's what you do. You mess people's lives up. You know, Ronnie, Roxy, and now Sharon and Dennis. That kid's crying himself to sleep every night because you knew you got the front to tell me to back off. Well, you ain't got the right, Jack, because you've blown it. It's over. Yes. I think you're invited. That's right, I ain't stopping. Not breathing the same air as this bunch of lowlife, eh? I mean, she might have hooked up with one of them, but at least she had the decency to stay away. Come on, Phil. Who's sort me you, eh? Jay's right, it's ain't the time or the place. I think it's past your bedtime, eh? Oh, yeah, well, it ain't past my bedtime. Leave it, it, Jack. Me and Ronnie, we were open. Well, Jay's already told me the answer's not. This is important for Ronnie. Then why ain't she the one who's asking me? All right, it's important to the both of us. The word was not. Just an hour, all right? Half hour tops. Now you're begging me, is this a joke or what? I mean, this is family. Your brother tries to kill me. And I'm supposed to pay class assault or something. Phil, this is family. Well, what would your mum say? Well, she'd probably say Ronnie was up a rocker, but, well, Billy and Jane want to go. We've had enough misery as it is. So, take some more and feed some stray cats or something. Well, you are her. You don't get to tell me what to do. She's been looking out for you. I told you I ain't coming. She's been looking out for you, looking out for your business. She don't deserve this. Phil, not here. He's, um, he's busy. Oh, I thought... You thought what? So, how's the car lot doing? Yeah. Yeah, it's fine, yeah. 
you, uh, you want to check the brakes on them motors. Abby, <clears throat> you heard anything from your dad? Uh, no, 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 not for a while. You better get used to visiting rooms. But well, it was uncalled for, wasn't it? He didn't mean it. Didn't I? Let me get you a plate. Probably the last one, haven't you? See ya. Yeah, well, I'll bet the off for all. Yeah, cheers, Phil. <clears throat> yeah, thank you for coming. I really appreciate it. Yeah, well, it's going to take a lot more than the family meal to sort your problems out. Don't you dare. you got something to say. Why don't you just say it? The pair of you is mental. Phil, you've got no right. You're a disaster, son, aren't you? Oh, what, you reckon we're going to come to you for relationship Have advice? you forgotten what happened the last time you were together, eh? Hang on a minute. How many wives have you had? Not to mention the ones who got you away. You can't turn the clock back and pretend none of that's happening. Look, no one's trying to turn anything back. That's what today was all about, isn't it? You playing happy fans. No, we just wanted everyone to stop fighting. Oh, really? Well, his brother tried to kill me, so excuse me if I don't join wait, him, would you? Wait, wait, if you wanted to kill you, I think you would have made a better job of it. Jack. Yeah, it's all over you now, isn't it? Well, where was he? Eh? Last time he needed him, when you was inside. I eh? didn't want him. <laughs> left you a rot. That's what he did. You left no, it a rot. Like listen, that. I wanted him to leave me alone. Yeah, hang on a minute. Where were you? I didn't want look, anyone. You're Jack. her own cousin. You that you abandoned. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. Just no, like he you abandoned that psycho son of his. Jack. If you're back with him, I don't want you anywhere near me. Well, none of my business. Do you understand me? Phil, please don't make me choose. Family. That's what today was all about, wasn't it, right? Eh? Right, well, get out. Well, you only get one family in life. To cover your back, to stick with you through thick and thin. Jack's my family now. Where is she? Just give her a bit of time here. Yeah? Right, that's it. I'm out of it. What are you doing? I've wasted enough time as it is. Oh, Jack, please, just stay at least until she gets back. What's the point? She ain't interested. Oh, yeah, what would you know, eh? I know a mug when I see one. Anyone for some fairy cakes? Just leave it, Joe. I ain't worth it. No, you're right. Just a sad, pathetic drunk. Says a man chasing a woman that don't even want him. Jack, where are you going? Jack! Jack, get back here!